Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to Top Tip Tuesday, which today I've got tips on wings. Not wings that help birds and aeroplanes to fly, but technical divers to control their buoyancy. There are three basic shapes of wings. You get horseshoes, donuts, and diamonds. Horseshoes are losing popularity. Most divers prefer a donut star nowadays so that the gas can flow freely around the internal bladder, but horseshoes are shapes like horseshoes. Donuts are by far the most popular for back-mounted singles and twins. Diamond-shaped wings are exclusively for side-mounted BCDs. The diamond shape wraps around your waist and puts the buoyancy where you need it in the small of your back. The area in the center of the donut, which is completely flat, is one very easy way to determine if a wing is made for single cylinders or for twin cylinders. If it's very slim, about the width of a single cylinder, then it's for singles. Wider than a single cylinder and it's for twins. You can't mix and match them because twin cylinders will just squash a single bladder and a twin bladder will wrap up around and smother a single in what we call the taco effect. The taco effect is where because the bladder of a twin wing is so wide if you put any air inside it's just going to float up and then it relies on twin cylinders to pin the sides down and keep them horizontal. With just a single cylinder those sides will just float straight up but it's going to be very tricky to be able to get any air out of the wing when it's all wrapped up above the valves. The location of the inflator hose is also another good indicator of whether a wing is made for singles or twins. If the elbow joint is dead center along the top, it's for twin cylinders so that the elbow doesn't get in the way of the first stages. If it's offset over one side, then it's for single cylinders. Most of the wings that I've ever come across have a separate internal bladder that holds the gas and an external shell that protects that internal bladder from wear and tear. The shell is usually made from a tougher material that can take some scrapes. If the internal bladder does get damaged, you can usually unzip that external shell and then repair the damage inside. You can sometimes find wings with two inflator hoses or a RB version of a wing that's a little bit more expensive. A redundant bladder version has two bladders inside of it, one on top of the other. You only ever use one of them when you're diving normally, but in the unlikely event that your main bladder should fail for whatever reason, you can then use the second bladder to control your buoyancy. Some wings give you the choice of a retractor, either inside or outside of the shell. Retractor kits are basically a bungee that wraps around the wing and squeezes it down to minimize the size of the wing when it's deflated. It tucks in nice and neat. This is useful for most of your diving, but again, in the unlikely event that your bladder is punctured, it can squeeze all of the air out of the bladder, so do be careful about that. A lot of single wings have built-in single tank braces. For single cylinders, it's best if you have a rigid metal single tank adapter frame to hold that single cylinder in place so it doesn't wobble around. But for lightweight travel, a lot of single wings have something like this that acts as a soft single tank adapter that does the same job and you can pull them out if you uh, sort of really want to fit a proper metal one. But just double check because you might save yourself some money. A lot of inflator elbows have a decagon fitting. Once you unscrew the collar, that lets you pose the inflator in a particular direction. If your inflator hose has been bugging you and you've always wished that it was just, you know, a few degrees over in one direction, you can unscrew it, rotate it one, and then screw it back down. Not all corrugated hoses have the same internal caliber. So if you need to change the hose or the inflator, do be sure to double check what you have fitted and what you can replace it with. There are usually three lengths of corrugated hose. So if you did want a longer or a shorter length, it can be done. Just be sure to get the right caliber. And there were a handful of tips for BCD wings. If you have any tips for diving wings, let everybody know down in the comments below. We have a lovely range of wings for sale on our website, simplyscuba.com. I'll pop a link down in the description below for you to check out. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.